Hey. Well, there you are. I, I'm in Walmart. You're in Walmart? Yeah. What are you doing? This, this is the best time to shop. Is it? Yeah, nobody's here. It's not. It's 1040 there. Yeah, but it's pretty empty. Do you love being at Walmart at 1040 at night? Well, no, but I had to come. Um, I'm out of milk. So I had to get, I'm out of milk. I had to get milk. Well, I'm recording us for our, my new Facebook show where I call friends and and I did West Hampton. Did you see that one? No, I haven't. I've been teaching all day, so I haven't seen anything. Well, I just, explain. Go ahead. I just got finished. Well, what does that mean you teach? Tell everybody how you teach. Well, I didn't know it was going to be on TV. Well, you look beautiful. <laughs> well, I doubt that. But anyway, I teach voice. And I help people, um, usually about an hour lesson. And I had about six students today. And um, matter of fact, during one of them, we, uh, I called Michael English. And it was a guy, a young guy. And so he, he didn't know that I was calling Mike. And it was pretty neat. I, when, he, when he found out, Mike was listening to him. And Mike gave him a few tips. And that was pretty neat. And it so was neat for him. Because his dad, Mike, is his favorite singer. And oh. so, he said, I can't wait to tell my dad. <laughs> so, uh, Mike was on the phone? Yeah, see, I had my FaceTime on my phone, and then I had the FaceTime on uh, my iPad to teach him. And I teach people all over the country. Like, he's in North Carolina, and I have some people in North Dakota. I have Kentucky and Tennessee. And then I have yeah. people in Georgia. It's really neat. So if anybody wanted to uh, have you teach them voice, what would they do? They, um, they can Facebook me, uh, inbox me, or they can email me at kellynealan at iCloud.com. Oh, and you're I teaching? Know. You enjoy it? I love it. I love getting to know people, you know, on a personal level. And if I can help them at all, I mean, you know. That makes me feel good. Well, what they ought to do is get this this app, eCam. It's e c a m m dot com, I think it is, and uh, it will record like I'm doing right now. They could record their vo voice lesson. That way, they could hear it and do it again or whatever. Well, yeah, and I, I do send them because sometimes on Facetime there's a little bit of de of a delay, so I send them the exercises that I've worked up for them, and then they play it. So there's no delay. Now, do you have a basket? Are you pushing the basket? Yes. What's in it? Let's see what's in your basket. Well, I've got, okay. So we were gone for 12 days. Uh -huh. And I must have left some fruit in the refrigerator. Uh-oh. Good thing. So I got some. Let's see if I can just turn it around. Yeah, turn it around. I got some. Apple cider vinegar, because they said that if you put that in a bowl, all those little gnats that have accumulated will um, go to the bowl. Really? And I need them to go to the bowl fast, because I'm tired of swatting them. Uh, is that in the bus? <laughs> no, it's at home. Oh, in your house. Yeah. So I've got some um, hefty, extra strong bags, and I've got okay. some game pods, and some cups. That's all I have right now. Well, how long do you plan on being at Walmart tonight at 1040 p.m.? <laughs> as, long, as long as it takes. I'm, you know, I'm planning for Hawaii, so I'm going to get me some earplugs because I sleep with earplugs. Do you sleep with earplugs? No. Do you not really on, no. the, bu on the bus? No. I, I like, do. I like to hear all the engine noise. Well, I like to block out all the kid noise oh yeah <laughs> you got people on your bus i have people on the bus and so <coughs> it i was not sleeping at all and now i sleep like a baby because of the earplugs yeah i don't hear things and all the ambient you take no i don't i don't take <laughs> ambient. but i do have some for hawaii because you know it's six hours different so when are you going to hawaii um a week from thursday and you're going to sing or to lay out and be not to sing. On the beach. You're not singing. No. Well, what if someone in Hawaii wanted to invite you to your their church while you're there? Well, we'd go, but it'd only be a duet. 
<laughs> oh, and, and Amber is in autumn. are going to do some concerts without y'all. They're, they're going to do one. Yes. Just the two and, of them. Well, no, we have a, a guy filling in. Actually, he's our bus driver too. So uh, he's going to be good. He's, so he's you, are good. you there by yourself? Here at Walmart? Yeah. Yep. Just me. So you ditch the family and when you escape, you go to Walmart. Yeah, I need my alone time. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about the dogs? Where are they? They're at home. Do you love your new house? I do. I love it. But you've and been I, in it for a while, right? Yeah, yeah. We just um, but we just decided it. to purchase it. Yeah, and I love it. I just love it. Now I'm going to hang pictures since I know we're staying. Oh, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we moved so many times. We moved to Florida then we moved back so I got to where I thought I'm not putting pictures up till I know I'm solid <laughs> so is Hawaii your next beach adventure oh I'm so excited yes and we have all of our excursions planned we've got um we're doing the helicopter tour we're doing the dull dull pineapple plant we're doing two luau's uh, I mean just all kinds of stuff are you gonna have time to relax no that's what I'm worried about <laughs> yeah, and we're in um, at NQC. We leave on Wednesday, the twenty eighth, from Honolulu, and we fly overnight. And we get back in Knoxville at ten twenty eight, and then we have sound check that afternoon, and we sing that night. Oh my goodness! You're so that's gonna, when I'll take my Ambien. <laughs> you're going to be dragging. I'm going to be dragging, but I'll be on adrenaline. I'll be dragging on Friday. And you'll go to the NQC with a tan. Maybe. Well, you sure will. But you know, I don't tan on my face anymore. And you've never been to Hawaii. Never. It is the most beautiful place on the earth that's that I've ever been say. to. That's what you know, that's what I don't understand about the Lord. If I was God and I was going to give my chosen people a piece of property, it would have been Hawaii, not Israel. I mean, I love it over there, but it's so beige. Israel is beige. <laughs> And Hawaii, I've never been. Hawaii is full of color. Oh, I love oh, it. Oh, it, and the weather, the temperature, the, there's no humidity. At least there wasn't I when I was there. Now, that's exciting because, you know, this hair in humidity, it grows. <laughs> so, anytime I'm ever at the beach, it's a disaster. Well, now, when are you going to cut your hair short? It, aren't I'm people never. over 50 supposed to cut? Women over 50 not supposed this, to? I'm not over 50. <laughs> You're not over 50 yet? No. Now, Norm, you're going to cause Norman to crawl up out of the grave and call you a liar. I know. It's bad. I it's could really just hear when, him. When you cross the line of 50 on to 60. <laughs> yeah, well, now you're, you're, you're right in the middle there. I'm in the middle. So but it, I'm not cutting my hair. At 60, you're still going to have long hair. Oh, yeah. I'll be 90. Really? And it'll still be this color. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my grandmother was 92 and she colored her hair till the day she died. And she told me, she said, now, Kelly, I said, I, she said, I want to tell you one thing. When I die, you make sure my hair is colored. And I did. Really? She went, she went on to heaven with a yeah. head full of dark hair. Women can get by with it. Men can't. You know, there's nothing worse than purple hair on an old man's face. Well, why does it have to be purple? Well, you know, if it's too blue black, that real blue black, yeah, you can tell yeah. it came out of a bottle, and and from the back they look young, then they turn around, and it's Methuselah. It makes know, them look older. It, it does, it does. I but, know, but you know, it probably does for women too. But you'll never see a gray hair. No, never. I think women can get by with it better. Well, where's Autumn and Amber? They're not. They're at home. Everybody's at home. Amber is at home. Autumn is in Knoxville. Um, What's she doing? She's got a little boyfriend up there. Oh, really? Yeah. So, and he's you, the sweetest guy. You like he him? Is, I really like him. He's a good Christian guy. He's a fireman. Oh. And he's studying to be a fireman. And he's also he has his own business of uh, landscaping. Or, Maybe it's more like yard work. I don't know. <laughs> Are they getting serious? No, uh, -uh. no. But, but they're it's cute. They're cute. he is a doll baby too. Well, good. So that means you'll have pretty grandchildren. You can't let her marry an ugly one. 
I know. Because then you know, have I, half a chance of the kids, grandkids being ugly. Yeah. And you and know, I've seen family. some pretty, but I've seen some pretty people give birth to ETs too. I hope they don't have ETs. Would you, now, would you still love it? I would love it. If it came out all, hey, granny. <laughs> hey. Please, Lord, don't let that happen. <laughs> Now, what if they came out and they couldn't sing? Would you put them up for adoption? I would be shocked. I would be shocked. Yeah. Be you know, because how often is it that that I would have two kids that sing like they do? I mean, you know. Yeah. I know. And who knew Autumn could sing? Who knew? I mean, she just was like a little wallflower back there. Next thing you know, she's grabbed a mandolin, kicked everybody else off the stage. <laughs> the truth oh she's I mean, amazing and and her whole life she would tell me mama i'm not singing she was afraid of the audience what made her change i don't know exactly uh well i will say one time jason got sick he got real sick and um so we had to pull autumn up and i didn't know is that if she could even sing a part you're kidding they and how, you mean you pulled her up without knowing if she could sing a part I figured what, what she, if she could couldn't sing a have? lead, and and I could take the part if we had oh, to. Okay. And so it would be me, her, and Amber. But you'd and never I, heard her sing. Oh, I'd heard her sing. Okay. But she didn't sing. She just sang lead. You know, uh -huh. she'd sing her one song, uh, go back uh -huh. to the bus. I mean, uh, even okay. as a child, she said, Mama, I'll just be a Walmart greeter. That's yeah. what she said. <laughs> and then, and then I, I think... Part of her cowered behind Amber because Amber was so good, you know, and yeah. she was she didn't want to not be good. Well, and she's she is she is good, so she didn't have to worry about it. She just blossomed. I mean, she and she smiles on stage, which I she didn't think smiled. that would ever happen because she know. doesn't. She was kind of like it didn't even like to smile. No, it's like she didn't really care. It's like yeah. she don't. She didn't really care what y'all thought. Or, yeah. It's like, but then all of a sudden, it just, it just clicked. Yeah. And She's I, you adorable. Know, I told her, I said, Autumn, when you smile, I said, it lights up the room. Yep. And she's smiled ever since. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I, that's the easiest thing you can do. I mean, I, without, uh, you do it, I do it. When I hit that stage, it's a smile from ear to ear. Forever. It's like, welcome, you know, you're welcoming the audience. You've got to do that. Yeah. Some people I mean, get up and don't smile, and I don't get it. I learned that very early. You know, Janet was with us. Mm -hmm. And um, we, one time we host, oh, you know, we were the awards girls at the uh, fall fest, at the uh, spring festival in um, Dallas, Texas. Uh -huh. And we were the awards girls. And we smiled, and we, we were trying to see how many pictures we could get in. And we would, uh, my face was hurting. <laughs> we had smiled so much. We had the most I know fun. your face can hurt after a while. Yeah, it does. I tell you, when it's the most for me is like at the end of the concert when I'm sitting in that tall chair and everybody's lined up to meet me and stuff, and I've smiled at everybody and for every picture. And after a while, my face is tired. It's just like it's painted on. It's like doing the Gaither videos. I mean, by the time <laughs> by the time we're done, we're worn out just I from know. smiling. Well, you know, Bill said he was going to have some surprises uh, when I called him and I wrote about it on my Facebook. And I don't know what the surprises were. Did you see any surprises? With the Martin, I tell you, that Martin Family Circus. They that, were good. That was a good surprise. I've not heard them. Great surprise. I, I love them. And I didn't know that they were um, Dwayne Allen's family. That was his daughter and, and husband and their kids. Right. I didn't know that. I saw him across the room, and I kept thinking, who is that? And honestly, I thought when I looked at her that she looked like Dwayne's wife. I thought, is that Dwayne's wife? But why is she sitting over there? Mm. Then come to find out it was his daughter. Huh. And they were so good. Yeah, they were. But that's about the surprise. That's the only one that, you know, unless he, if, he'd, if he'd had Vesta on the hologram. When that be, now, when is that going to happen? Have you seen holograms? I went to see uh, Celine Dion at uh, Vegas. Oh, wow. In Las Vegas, and she had a hologram. She was up on the stage singing. The hologram was, 
And then I looked to my left and she was singing a duet with herself. She was at the end of our aisle and one of her was on stage and the real one of her was in the audience. Really? Yeah. I've never seen anything like that. Have you never seen a hologram? No. uh Google it. Okay. Yeah, they're... I don't know how they do it. It must be very expensive, but it would be so cool. That would be the way to do concerts in the future where I just stay at home and they hologram me around the country. <laughs> hey, you know what? I'd love to see my daddy on stage with us. That would be well, neat. Well, you know, they can do that. The, what what they did this... Uh, you going to pay for it? Well, no. I can't afford that. I can't afford to pay attention. Well, if you can. I sure can. But um, they, uh, Michael Jackson, at that, I, I saw a, a show in Vegas while back of and it was a Michael Jackson and they did the Michael Michael Jackson was in a hologram up there because you know we oh. know he's, yeah they can do that that's neat well and Celine, oh lord I would have loved to have heard her oh Celine hmm. well you still can I know but I mean you know and much as we work in fact I was there the week before her husband passed and she Aww. sang over the rainbow Wow. At the end of the show, like I've never heard it. Mm. That's good. So did you find what you're looking for at Walmart? Pretty much. I think I've got everything. Have I've you got, got everything? Yeah, I got me some um, for our, our trip. You know, my ankles swell when we... <laughs> I'm getting old. And so I got me some compression socks for the flight. Oh, my goodness. You flight. are getting old if you got compression socks. Well, you know... My ankles swell. I've got little tiny ankles and, you know. They... <laughs> well, you can't have cankles getting off that plane. No. Get my lay. I'm going to have that lay. Yeah, you know, it's all just one straight thing. And there's no ankle. It's just straight from being swollen up like. I know. I don't want that. Mm -mm. So I'm going to, I've got my socks prepared. Well, this is so strange. So I caught Wes Hampton earlier today at Hobby Lobby and I've caught you at Walmart. You know, it's the gospel music place to stop. And here I am in Houston, and you're in Atlanta. Isn't this cool? It is. We can do it's this. Fun. I know. Well, Are you movies. Do what now? You watching any movies? No, I'm. I got it on the Food Network right now. Oh, and yeah. Mine I, stays on HGTV. And I, HGTV. I love uh, Fixer Upper. Oh, me too. I love that show. Just watched it a while ago. Joanna and Chip, they're in, they live in Waco. Oh, they're so good. Yeah, they're funny. He's, they're funny. funny. Yeah, and she's talented. Yeah. She can evermore decorate. Oh, I love it. I wish she'd come do my house. Hello? Would well, they're going to, I heard they're going to start doing uh, different things. With, yeah, doing more around the country. Because they only do Texas right now. Have you been watching Ninja Warrior? No, is that good? It's I like it. I like to watch what I can't do. Those people, have you not heard of it? Where uh -huh. They jump around and they compete, and it's I don't know. You look at it on TV; it's on there every night almost. Oh. Well, all right. I guess I'm done with you. Well, be done with me. Oh, but I better I, get some toothpaste. I'm here. Oh, the get some to get some denture cream because you know you need that. No, I've got all, these are all mine. Are they? <laughs> I've never, I'm going to knock on wood, but I've never had anything done to my teeth. And it just terrifies me. You've never had a cavity? Well, I've had a cavity, but I mean like a root canal or oh. any kind of surgery like that. Lord, I've I got all my own chompers. That's good. I do too. They're capped, but I have them. I don't, they're, mine aren't capped. Mine they're were just, gray, so I capped them all years ago. Oh, they were they were like they gray. Good. They don't. They're not. Well, the thing is, I'll be ninety and they'll still still be uh, chiclet white. That's right, <laughs> and I'll still have colored hair. Well, there you go. <laughs> All right, child, have a good night. You too. Love uh, you. Love you too. <laughs> bye bye.